So Marauders has been out in early access for nearly a full month now, depending on when you watch this video, but you might have already started to feel that your space pirating adventures are getting a little stale. It's like leaving a bag of your favorite chips open on the kitchen counter for a month. The flavor is still there and it tastes great, but the fresh crispy crunch is just not there anymore. So what's next for Marauders, you wonder? What's going on, guys? My name is Tychus. In this video, I just wanted to talk a little bit about uh, the upcoming features, some of the upcoming features for Marauders. Um, now, we do know that there will be a live stream developer blog happening on Wednesday, October 26th, going over the first major content patch coming in November. I will be going over this update in a TLDR fashion once the time does come. But anyways, so let's just talk a little bit about some of the, I guess, confirmed features that are coming, um, confirmed by not like sometime in the future, right? I'm not saying confirmed as 100% going to happen in this next update, this next major update. But, you know, for example, uh, the developers did talk about some of the guns that are going to be, going to be coming to the game. Uh, like the first one that was mentioned by the developers is the Webley Web Revolver. Um, the gun is going to be chambered in 32 ACP for the game. Uh, now, I'm definitely not a firearms historian uh, or anything like that, but from the image, it does look like it's modeled after the Mark I of the revolver and it has a standard, you know, six round cylinder. In terms of uniqueness for the revolver, there is a built in ejector um, for all six rounds when you break open the gun. It's going to be interesting to see if the developers decide to have you reload with, you know, single rounds or utilize like a, a, a speed loader for the gun. It's definitely going to affect the reload time of the gun uh, in the game, of course, but it's also interesting to see the stopping power of the gun too, right? It, it is a revolver. I would assume that it's going to have a, a much slower fire rate than the Luger or the 1911 that is currently in the game. Um, but it's definitely going to be interesting to see how strong the gun is going to be. You know, I wonder if it can one tap uh, enemies who are unarmored in the head. Um, I think two tapping the, the thorax might be a little too strong, but I don't know. We're going to have to wait and see, but the developers did say that they wanted to get this gun in our hands uh, as soon as possible. So there might be a good chance that this gun is going to be coming in the next update. Next up, we also know that the EM2 or the rifle number nine will be coming to the game as well. From the image posted here, we can see the in-game model of the rifle is already already in the game. Um, on the lower right hand corner, you can see that it there's 17 rounds. Uh, it could be could be more, probably 20 rounds, maybe. Uh, not too sure. Uh, that could be what's left and the guy is going for a reload in the image. We don't know. But we can also see that it is a, in single fire mode as well. Not sure if it can actually switch to full auto, but that definitely is there. Although, in this image, the version of the gun doesn't seem to have the unique optic attached to the gun uh, i could be wrong though it looks like it's just the iron sight um but in a separate video cameron small the lead developer of small small impact games spent some time at the royal armories with jonathan ferguson going over the rifle if you want to check out the full video for that the link will be in the description below but uh in the video they they went over the em2 rifle you know did say that the the version that they were looking over was a prototype but you know, it, it was a rifle that was supposed to be designed for lightweight um, for people for troops to be jumping in and out of vehicles. And it just happened to work surprisingly well as a CQB rifle as well, which is why Cameron has decided to put the gun in the game. Um, it's also going to be another rifle that is in the same category as the STG, at least in terms of the game, so to speak. Right. Um, in terms of attachment, Jonathan did mention that there were different versions of the rifle. One with the bipod attachment to the front of the gun, and then there was another version with a three and a half times scope. Um, so that's going to be interesting if Cameron decides to uh, add those attachments to the to the game. But definitely like a three and a half times scope is going to be very interesting for uh, Marauders. Um, but yeah, anyways, like I said, these are not confirmed attachments. You know, they, it is something that Cameron has interest in in putting the game but it's not 100 100 confirmed we do know that cameron wants to represent these guns as historically accurate as possible for the game at least in terms of functionality and attachments right 
uh, ammo caliber obviously is simplified in the game, so it's not always going to be historically accurate in terms of like the caliber. Um, another possible attachment that could be added to the game is the suppressor for the VZ Club or the Scorpion. Again, referencing the interview with Cameron at the Royal Armories, they did talk about the gun. Link for that video is also going to be in the description as well if you want to check it out. They did mention a possibility of extended mag magazines for the gun, but Jonathan has state stated that it only had two magazines, one uh, which was a 20 rounder, which is currently in the game, and another with a 10 round magazine, which again, I don't see why you would want to have less ammo in, in, in the gun, but yeah. But the interesting thing is like, you know, they kind of tossed around the idea of, of, of a drum mag. Um, it wasn't realistic. Obviously, it did not exist in real life, but it was something that was tossed out there. So maybe we could see a drum mag for the gun. It'd be kind of interesting to see a drum mag attached to that little gun. Um, but the main point of the video was the fact that there was a version of the gun with a suppressor fixed to the gun. Now, I don't see the developers adding two different versions of the same gun. You know, one with a suppressor and one without. So it's a good possibility that they will just have the suppressor as an attachment. Um, and I think, you know, that's how I think that's how they're going to go about it. But anyways, yeah. Now, once again, I want to clarify that, you know, all of these things are not confirmed to be coming in the next major content update. But, you know, they are confirmed to be coming sometime later in the game, so to speak. Right. So we might be able to see these guns later on. It might not be right now, but we are going to have to wait and see. But I'm just saying there could be a good chance that we're going to see these uh, attachments in the next update. Obviously, looking over the roadmap of Marauders, there could be potentially a lot more content added to the game, right? We could end up seeing a whole new map, implementations of grenades again. Uh, the AI boss named Ace could be there as well. After all, they are calling this the first major content update for the game. Uh, personally, I'm hopeful that they will add the AI boss to the to the update because that would definitely make the raids a lot more interesting. You know, the, the hopefully Ace has bodyguards just like you know Rashala in um, in Escape from Tarkov or or Gluhar. Um, hopefully they make him hard too. Hopefully you know he doesn't just aimbot you and one shot you in the head. But um, you know hopefully they they make him a lot more interesting and hopefully they they give him a lot of loot too, right? Like a lot of high value loot. I think that would make the game a lot more exciting. Also, I hope that they do end up adding the grenades back into the game so that we can continue to test them for the sake of balance. Um, I did have the opportunity to play with the grenades back in, I believe it was the first closed beta or one of the one of the closed betas. Um, unfortunately, I only had like one grenade out of it. it. It was a lot slower than I thought, you know, like activating it, but which I think is a good thing. But, you know, I didn't get to test it out too much. So it's going to be exciting to see grenades added back in um currently right now i mean all it is, is just you know running around and shooting each other and just ducking and covering um i think the addition of grenades would definitely spice up the uh the gunfights so much more and there's just so much more that you can do with uh grenades in in talk in talking about like gunfights and stuff like that so but anyways guys that's it it's just a short video on what's coming for the game you know let me know what you're excited to see do you feel like the game is getting a little stale you know what what do you want most in the first major content patch uh leave all your thoughts in the comments below as i do read them all and as always guys don't forget to like and subscribe for more and i will see you guys in the next one peace